hello and welcome to the channel. Well, today we're going to mow with the Aaron's Edge 42. We're going to do this backyard here, and I'm going to do a couple other spots and other places around the yard so you can see just how well this mower mows. The grass is pretty long. It's a week, but uh, I've got some, some grass here that's uh, seven, eight inches tall. And I'm going to mow it four inches. That's the way I like to mow my lawn. So let's get started. Down in the dirt. All right, start out, let's make a few straight passes. All right, what do you think so far? First off, I like how well it stripes. Number two, I don't, I like how it doesn't leave any stragglers. Number three, I like, really like how well this cuts. This cuts well at slow speeds and it cuts fast wide open. If you notice, I pushed it open and let her rip here a couple times and it cuts just as well at six miles an hour or seven miles an hour as it does at two or three miles an hour. At this point, I can't see anything wrong with it as far as the cut quality goes. So one of the things I really like about this mower, and I didn't bring it up during the walk around the other day, is these solid hangers here instead of chains. So if your lawn is rough and you're bouncing around, the deck stays right with the mower. It doesn't get bouncing more than the mower does. Uh, the hanging chains can be a problem with these, with this, this light of a machine. And uh, of course, the four point suspension deck on this is a lot more solid too than the three points that you find on the other brands. Wherever the front and rear wheels are at, that's how level this is gonna cut. Let's move it a little bit closer. Here's a patch that didn't get, that hasn't been cut yet. 
here's the grass as you can see it's just as even as can be there's no stragglers I like the lift of this deck everything that I talked about this deck the good points it proves it with the cut so as far as I'm concerned this is one of the better cutting decks that I've seen in a while moving on all right let's do a little bit out front here this area that the camera is pointing at has quite a few bumps and ridges to it it's not a perfectly smooth lawn at all so let's see how this Aaron cuts this again four inches and this grass is about seven inches or so tall. This little mower is quick, but it's really agile. I like it a lot. It's a lot, I can mow this area a lot faster with this than I can with my steering wheel X mark. Same size deck. They cut pretty much the same, but uh, just the zero turn, the lap bars, make such a big difference. It's how fast you can mow. Now, let me move this down just a little bit. There's a good sized mound here. There used to be a tree here and we just dug the roots out and then just kind of graded around it, kind of left the hill. Makes for an interesting little feature on your front lawn. But it cuts it evenly. It doesn't leave any streaks or anything. Come across. This lawn is lighter, thinner than the lawn that we had and it still picks up 90% of the of the grass and cuts it evenly. It cuts better than the last mower than, that I reviewed. Uh, it handles this long grass better and it also lifts the long grass and cuts it more evenly. Not saying anything bad about the other one, it does a good job, but this one does an even better job. Got one more section that I'm going to mow with it and then we'll talk about it at the end. All right, I'm going to make a couple striping passes through here and let's see how well it cuts
more pass. I don't need to show you any more than this, do I? Entry level Aaron's Edge. As far as I'm concerned, it's cutting just as well as a commercial mower. Everything is even. This poor grass in the spots that I have, it lifts it all up, cuts it all, doesn't leave any of the long stuff. You realize, you remember we had problems with that with one of the other mowers. This one just picks it all up so nice, cuts it so nice and even. Um, I do like the striping on it. I'm not much of a striper myself, but as you can see, it leaves some nice stripes. The colorations that you see in the photo, that's not the deck bouncing up and down. That's a, that's a different strain of grass running through there. So. <clears throat> Let me move this a little bit. Do I even need to give you a close-up view? Boy, I really like how well that stripes. This lawn is dry. There's no dew on it. We did have three inches of rain over the last 48 hours, so it has plenty of moisture to grow. So I'm happy with this mower. You want to see more, go ahead and look at the uh, walk around review we we'll go into all the details of this machine a couple of things that i like a lot about it are the larger tires in the back i like the front casters they work really well i like the fabricated deck i like how it's hung with uh, struts instead of chains it's a four point deck so it stays right with the mower it doesn't wobble around like some of the three point decks do uh, I like how easy it is to control. It's really, really agile. Uh, you don't, it doesn't feel sluggish at all. You can tell it's a lightweight mower, but that's one of the advantages. Don't have any traction issues with it at all. Even, even going down the slope, stopping and backing up the slope and making a turn, uh, it still does a very good job. The only thing that I really don't like about the machine is um, how it sets for me. If you weren't so short and so big around, you'd, you wouldn't have any problems with that. But uh, I would like to be able to get the seat moved back two more inches than what it is, and then it would be fine. But that's just me. Don't uh, sit on the mower and play with it yourself, and you'll see that it's very comfortable. Okay, I wanna stop the review for a minute and make a clarification. I said that this cuts better than the Toro Time Cutter, but I want you to be aware that I think the Toro Time Cutter is one of the best cutting decks out there. And Consumer Reports agrees with me. The 50 inch fabricated deck is a very good deck. I just think that this Aaron's Edge cuts a little better. Just a little bit more evenly. Um, there's nothing wrong with the Toro at all. In other words, I would have no problems owning a to owning the Toro, owning the machine, owning how well it cuts, all that type of stuff. But if you go back and read my walk around review of the errands, there's just a couple little features that I do really like about that. And as you can see here. It really does cut nice. I'm not sure you're gonna be able to find a better cut with any other mower on the market right now. I really like it. Okay, so back to the review on the, on the Aaron's Edge. So if you have any comments, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the, in the comment section below. 
If you like this video, please like it. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. I will talk to you later. Bye. Down in the hill.